Ah, poke openings. It's been a while since I made my last one, like literally months. And I decided I'd come back and do another video because recently I went to the London MCM Expo or London Comic Con or the London MCM Comic Con or whatever the fuck they're calling it these days. It used to be the MCM Expo and now it's, I think, officially Comic Con but in London or whatever. Anyway, that's not important. What is important is today I have two packs of the Break Evolution set. Rather, uh, one booster pack from each of the Break sets uh, from Japan. Um, in case any of you don't know, in Japan, when they release cards, they release two different sets a la the games. So there's like, as you can see, there's Mewtwo Y and Mewtwo X version. As it were, a good comparison of this is the X and Y set. So there's the Evil Tile collection and the Xerneas collection, which I also bought. Um, and as you can see on the back, these have 60 cards in the set and then there's a few extra rares or secret rares and stuff. Um, so then when they're released over here, they're combined into one larger set. So this obviously came out as the X and Y base set over here. And this will come out as Break Evolution. Just, I think that's the name of the set. Um, anyway. Unfortunately, I'm not sure of the name of the two sets released in Japan, but by the time I upload this, it'll be somewhere, it'll be in the title, or whatever. So, I thought today what we do is take a look at these packs. Uh, keep in mind, as well, as it says there, there are five cards in these booster packs, not the regular ten we're used to. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open them up. I will begin with the Mega Mewtwo X... Um, pack merely because he's my least favourite of the two, not saying that I dislike him, just that I prefer Mega Mewtwo Y. Now these packs are a bit annoying to open. You can just tear down the side, which I may do. Uh, makes me feel weird about doing it like that. But yeah, uh, that's what they're built to be, right? We'll not actually open many Japanese cards, so uh, and I've not seen any of the artwork of this set. I'm not sure when this set is actually out over here. Uh, I think in like, there's, oh wow, you can like them on Facebook. Well, ah, oh, Facebook's in English. Well, if you want to go and do that, oh, okay, that's just a URL, but if you want to scan that with your smartphone, not sure how you do that, because if you're watching this on your phone, then you have to pause it and you can't, anyway. Um, right. I'm not sure of the order of these packs. I think the one at the back is uncommon and the one in front of it is the rare, but you don't always get a rare. Or rather you don't always get like I'm not sure exactly how it works. In my um in my Evil Tal no, in my Xunius pack, I got a Xunius EX, so I'm not sure exactly how it works. But anyway, we start with Panpo, because apparently Panpo has to be in every set. Um you know, I I don't mind the monkeys. I know a lot of people hate them more, but whatever. Ooh, Quillava. Oh, yeah. That's a cool-looking Quillava. And for a second, I thought it was hollow because of those little uh, dots. But no, that's just really nice artwork. That's cool. It means that the Johto starters are uh, in this. We have a Zoroa. That's cool. That's a nice little artwork there. Right, I'm going to try by taking the back one... We have... Oh, Smeagol! Oh, that's really cool! And, like, with a trainer and stuff. That's really nice artwork. I always forget Smeagol's a Pokemon. I don't know why, he's just not... He's not very represented. Uh, so, obviously, we saw the Zoroa. Ah, no, the last one is a Rainbow Energy. There we are. So, as I said, you don't always get a rare or anything. Um, I think this is uncommon. Yeah, you. And I think the rest. Unless... I'll just double check. Was Smeagol rare? No, he's uncommon too. Fair enough. So this set, as you saw, was 59 cards. I believe the other Mega Mewtwo set, or rather the Brick set, is also the same. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's open it up. Oh, no, fight, I guess, some of you were going to say. Uh, that's not the way you generally find things out in terms of Pokemon cards. Uh, unless it's a very heated, you know, Pokemon battle. In which case, I guess fighting is fine. Right. 
these are not the easiest to open, but I do like their design. It's um right, and also mo okay, this isn't Facebook at all. This is telling you how to play the game, I think. But energies and stuff. If anyone knows what that says, then kudos to you, because I can't read Japanese. Okay, is this rare? It's common. A common Cresselia. That feels wrong. Somehow. That fucking hell, that's a basic with 110 HP. That's really good. And wow, look at that ability. Just look at it. I know, I, I don't know what it says either. But wow, okay, a common Cresselia. That doesn't feel right. We're okay. I'm not arguing. I don't think I have a Cresselia card, so that's cool. We have a Sea King. A happy looking Sea King. Pretty simple art, but you know, it's nice. It's lately um, reminiscent of like old Japanese art, actually. And then we have a Mr. Mime. Ah, the incredibly dark pink, where you can barely make out words. And that's cool. Is he climbing something? No, he's... What is he doing there? It's a very busy scene. Is he in a Pokemon lab somewhere? I can't... Oh, he's cleaning windows! Hey, That's nice. That reminds me of the iToy Play minigame, where you clean windows. Anyone remember that? We have a mm, pillar swine. Is he rare? He is uncommon. I have a feeling this is where the rare would be, so I don't think I'd be massively lucky with this with these packs. And we have an Abomas Snow. E also uncommon. I like the just large black boxes. Like it's uh, it's interesting to see the difference between the you know sort of Western and Japanese release of Pokemon cards. Also, you're probably all aware of this, but um, the back of the card's pretty cool as well. It's all like gold edged and stuff and that's really nice. So yeah, those were um, interesting packs, like didn't get anything massively amazing. But, you know, I mean I'm just happy to get some Japanese cards really. They sort of, they take me back to a simpler time, back where Pokemon cards were so popular you'd find sort of stalls in markets dedicated just to Pokemon cards. These days you barely find shops that sell them. Anyway, that, uh, that is my, I wouldn't say rant, that wasn't really angry, but that was my back in my day kind of um, tangent there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I should be putting a few more videos up pretty soon because I've got a few more ideas of things to, um, to video and stuff. Some of them Pokemon card related, a few uh, not. So yeah, keep an eye out for that and until next time, goodbye.